and I have noticed that a lot of things have happened for me. Boy, did I do this. <laughs> and as you can see, being specific just doesn't work. We can give that a big bet. Motherfucking tick on bed. Because I cannot give up on myself. That is what happened in 2023. But it's time to make our new vision board for 2024. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so good that you're all here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to be finally reacting to my 2023 vision board. I've done this video for the past two years, I want to say. So if you want to go watch that, I'll put a little card up here. But we're in 2024, a new year, time for new energy. I'm a little bit slow entering into the year. I feel like I kind of just wasn't rushing myself as much as maybe I would have in previous years. I don't necessarily know if that was that excitement that I had in previous years because 2023 turned out a lot differently than I have expected. But I still think we actually did achieve a lot, surprisingly. If you watched my other videos of this, usually I would react to the little notes that I make as well, or the little paper intentions. But I do find that it is a bit too much, like I'm doing too many things at once. So I wanted to focus this video this time on just reacting to the vision board. And then I created a little like reel of me reacting to the little intentions that I set. So if you want to see that, then head over to my Instagram. But yeah, let's get straight into this video and see what manifested for us in 2023. We're being a little iPad girly today because I thought it would just be a bit easier with me looking at this vision board, but I will go ahead and, do you know what, let's, let's even get comfortable guys, let's just get a comfortable here. Um, but I will go ahead and put my vision board up on the screen for you, if anything actually maybe I should put myself off one to one side, just one moment. Okay, I've kind of brought myself over to the other side so that there's enough space for my vision board here, and we're gonna see what is true first of all i feel like i should probably talk about some of the stuff that i did differently this year for one if you watched my 2022 reacting video then you would know that i discovered i was a non-specific manifester if you want to know more about that then go to that video or watch my what they don't tell you about manifesting video because i go into a lot of detail on that so i was a lot more vague when it came to the things i put on my vision board and kind of like even just the intentions that i set for the year as well and i have noticed that a lot of things have happened for me i think because i was more vague as well and i think i'm definitely going to take that approach this year again i see a lot of people being like be specific you know like put details on your board and like that's not actually for everyone so go ahead and check those videos out if you want to know which style works for you the best but the first thing that's standing out to me is this little psychology of money image that i have here it's the book the psychology of money i didn't end up reading the book i don't know if i read any money books i don't think i did i know in february i definitely set the intention to kind of grow my financial knowledge and that was the only month that i was really consciously trying to implement that part of this vision board but I do think that I really did grow in that area. I've gained a lot more knowledge and um, just figuring out the best way to work with my finances. And even though I'm not where I wanna be financially, I think it's still important to kind of have that foundational knowledge as well. I remember speaking about when I was creating my board last year, how for me it was really about putting in place the kind of habits or actions that the person who i want to be the future me would be doing wait i feel like i confused that completely so for example if i want to if i envision my future me as being someone who's really athletic or you know is physically fit or something like that then at some point i need to start doing the things i think i literally am speaking the same way that i did last year but i needed to start doing the things that that person would be doing i need to start either running or have a hobby where that allows me to be physically fit right so for example if i want to be wealthy or i want to have a lot of financial stability in the future then i need to grow my financial knowledge i need to actually start implementing the habits of someone who already has those things you can only take action in the present moment if you utilize the present moment well enough then you will have the future that you want and desire for yourself so yeah definitely when it came we even here we have a little sign of financial independence on the view on the vision board as well 
I feel like I didn't really achieve financial independence in the way that I wanted to have it. I was in my second house perfection year, so the second house is a bit like personal finances, and I also have my Chiron there and um, Pluto in my, I can't think of the word, in my Placidus chart kind of calculation. So it was a very heavy year in terms of working through like subconscious fears and subconscious beliefs around finances and material wealth. So yeah, I feel like money was definitely on my mind. Money on my mind. Money on my mind. And that is not how it goes, but, <laughs> but I feel like money was definitely on my mind in 2023. But also kind of surrendering the fears and working through my fears around finances and money as well. And that's something that I haven't really done. I've done a lot of healing in terms of my personal relationships and my self-love and stuff like that, but I haven't really done it around the material world. So that was definitely a new challenge that I faced in 2023 and something that I worked through. And it's funny actually, I put, this was unintentional, but if I think about it, I put the psychology of money. So it's how you think about money, how, it's like your mindset rather than like a physical thing of obtaining money. So in that way, yes, my mental belief system, I guess you could say, around money has changed. And I definitely worked through that. So we can give that a big bet, motherfucking tick on that. Next thing I can see, I've come down to this little hoarder of books down here. Um, I have been in love with reading in 2023. It's just grown and grown, my love. And I definitely focused more on fiction books they're non-fiction and I love that as well I feel like it was definitely a way for me to escape without you know going on social media or having to increase my screen time I would definitely say we've we've increased the book collection <laughs> and um finding more styles of writing that I enjoy finding more authors and even just speaking about it like I'm feeling so much excitement and joy to continue doing that so that's something I'm going to add to my next vision board as well but we're going to go in a little bit of a different direction I see here it says creative people need time to sit around and do nothing boy did I do this <laughs> boy did I do this I think my intention when I put this on my vision board was because in 2022 I was really struggling with like this idea of not feeling productive and in a way of like I wouldn't really allow myself to rest and relax because I felt like I had to be doing something I felt like I had to be making my dreams like happen for myself you know I chose a path that was very unconventional still is very unconventional and is very uncomfortable for me because I have to rely again I don't have that financial independence I have to rely a lot on um, my support system. But I put this on my vision board because I wanted to remind myself that even though this path, a lot of people will say that, oh, it's easy. It's easy, not in terms of financial value, but sometimes you can look like you're not doing anything. Um, and that's also okay. And it's also okay not to be productive 24 seven, whatever productivity means these days. Kind of get out of that mindset of like, you need to be doing something in order for something to happen for you. And step more into that yin feminine energy of like being open to receiving and just surrendering to the moment and allowing things to happen for you. And I guess being in that energy of like co-creation and trusting more in my spiritual team and stuff to support my goals as well so yeah definitely would say that you could speak to my friends and my family that i had spent a lot of time in a, a feminine energy a very a very introspective state not really being outside like we was not outside <laughs> in 2023 we were not i was inside hibernating reflecting working through subconscious fears and i think that's why it felt like such a heavy year for me like when it got to 2024 i was like god that year is done and over with i was struggling and not even in the same way i've struggled in the past it was a whole new struggle <laughs> but we made it through and we're on the other side but yeah we definitely sat around and did nothing okay what have we got so we were these little girls they are walking they're not little girls so we've got these two girls and they're walking on like a little it looks like new york kind of vibe they look like they're having a laugh, fun, they're wearing very stylish outfits. I mean, my intention with that image was really to kind of showcase that um, travel, for one it was travel, it was friendships, it was pictures. I feel like I wanted to take more candid pictures, I wanted to just be 
exploring different cultures and different places and I would definitely say this reminds me of my Amsterdam trip I mean we weren't in crop tops because <laughs> it was February around that time but it really reminds me of that time where I was with my um, friends and family yeah it's very quickly become one of my favorite places to go I think we achieved that I'm gonna see if I have any pictures of me kind of like candidly walking around or I don't know that has this essence or vibe to it because I feel like we achieved that I'm taking to these glittery nails in kind of like this bubble bath and that was to symbolize my um, self-care time and also putting more effort into my appearance and taking care of like just kind of elevating my physical care and in terms of like doing your nails or putting makeup on or you know doing your skincare and stuff like that even next to it I have having clear skin, making money, being more kind, looking sexier, expanding my better not expanding my knowledge and better mental health are the things I want to focus on. I didn't actually write that myself but I think I just got that off Pinterest and it just encapsulates everything that I wanted to do. So um, is my skin clear? It is not. But I have got to know my skin better and I have invested a lot more. That was one thing I wanted to do as well, invest more in my physical care. So I've definitely invested a lot more in my skincare. I've taken time to do my nails at times. They're not actually done right now, <laughs> funny enough. But um, it's something that I have spent time doing. Also baths have become my favourite thing at this point. I would definitely say that we did that. But I would also say I want to do that more next year as well. I want to even go, I want to go even harder. <laughs> if it's possible. I think it's possible. Um, also we have this 111 here. I can't quite remember why I put that there. But I have been seeing 1111 a lot. I feel like it's my number at this point. But it was definitely a number as well that I saw a lot right at the beginning of my spiritual awakening. I've noticed it a lot more in 2023 I would say. We also have here Spanish. This, I wanted to be a bit more intentional about my Spanish practice. I wanted to learn more about the grammar and stuff like that. I would say this is one thing or one of the bigger things that I haven't really done or I didn't really do in 2023. I don't know why. I think I just kind of, I, I overdid it with the whole Duolingo thing. I didn't pass my 365 days and then I was kind of like over Spanish for a bit. But I still do like small practices. I still try to watch um, a couple of Spanish shows and I have found that my reading skills have really improved as well. I can understand a lot more than I used to. I just definitely need to work on the tenses would be my thing for like, if I wanted to really improve in that area because my present tense is quite good. Not for speaking, just kind of understanding, my, understanding it. But, um, when it comes to like past, present, future, past, present, future, when it comes to past and the future tense, I don't really know that much. So I do need to work on my grammar a bit more if I want to continue to improve my Spanish. So we'll see. Um, now looking at this little blue oasis or blue sea vibe, calming midnights. And I remember I think last year I put this on because it just kind of calms me and it felt me, it made me feel really positive and good. And unintentionally, I feel like I actually did end up recreating this in a way we went to antigua at the beginning of last year and the sun was setting and we got to go on the beach and take a couple well, i got a couple pictures taken of me on the beach when the sun was setting and no it didn't give this necessarily blue vibe but it is a very similar vibe like the waves were coming in and it was warm and it was very peaceful and that is literally like a core memory made in that moment we have the new yorker no i'm joking it says woman says she won't stop until her pinterest board becomes real amen to that <laughs> the pinterest boards have been pinteresting first of all secondly every time i want to give up i physically cannot so i guess we could say that came true because <laughs> i cannot give up on myself i am so like just keep going to see what happens you know, I feel like if you keep going, how can you fail? It's kind of impossible. We also have this little keyboard here thing. I don't really know what that was for. I think that was to symbolize me like kind of working hard. <laughs> working hard or hardly working. I wouldn't necessarily say that I was like very, I don't know, I had, I have per fluctuating periods of like being really productive and then being in my yin phase and then like, yeah, it was very up and down yeah, basically. 
so yeah i had moments like that but then i had moments i guess on the other extreme of like self-care relaxation rest which is good but i think it could have been more balanced this year i really want to achieve more balance in that area because i guess because i was in the second house a bit of pluto was there i was experiencing extremes of energy and it wasn't the best but hopefully we'll achieve more balance in 2024 this bit where it says a new era of me i feel like we kind of stepped into a new era of me i'm a little bit more well i would say i'm more self-assured i would say that mm, it's hard to describe actually like i know i've i've regrown over the last year i couldn't even put it i can't put it into words it's really weird <laughs> I don't know if it's because I have a lot of Neptunian influence. Like Neptune was conjunct my moon last year. So a lot of it just feels like if I try to look back into 2023, it feels really hazy for me. Like I can feel the growth, I know it's there and I know that I went through a lot, but I can't actually pinpoint it, which is a really weird feeling. Weird. I have a lot of Pisces patients, but that Neptune conjunct feeling, and I also had Neptune conjunct my Mars as well. It's, it just like has made the whole year feel very hazy for me and weird. What was I like? What was I even saying? I don't remember. A new era of me. That was it. Um, yeah, I spoke about this in my habits little reel that I just created as well. Really learned to like move through my emotional wave. I've learned to take time making decisions. So I guess it is a new era of me because I would really. I guess I used to be afraid that if I took too long or if I, I said no to different opportunities that new ones wouldn't come about or that people would think I didn't like them or you know like stuff like that but I've noticed we've got on the other side of that and my friends are still here, family is still here, I'm still loved, I'm still alive. <laughs> the world didn't end with me saying no. I will grow to the people I meet and the places I see. I've definitely met new people in 2020 i feel like i didn't make any new like solid friendships or anything like that i just kind of got to know people here and there um and yeah i definitely would say i you i grow through people anyway and learn new things about myself as well but yeah the new the kind of trips i've had as well put me in new situations and help me just yeah i guess learn more about myself so i'm gonna give myself a, a, a tick on that one all right I'm proud of myself is one of the things also on the board and I'm 100% proud of myself. I'm proud of getting through the year and still remaining somewhat optimistic about life. <laughs> and um, I guess, yeah, proud of myself for putting myself out there as well a lot. I feel like I put myself out there online a lot in 2023 and like really challenged myself to create more vulnerable content. Yeah, not being afraid of what other people are thinking or gonna say or trying to predict what people are gonna say or think about something like just doing it and just you know trusting in my own instincts basically so i'm very proud of myself for that oh i would also say i'm proud of myself of how i've acted in certain situations as well like the way i would have dealt with things that have happened the way i would have dealt with certain things that happened in 2023 in previous years is a very very different so I'm very proud of myself for that actually now I think about it. Okay, we also have this girl kind of like staring at a statue and that was to symbolize me getting, embracing more cultures. No, I would, how do you even say this? It's like me becoming more culturally, me becoming more cultured, I guess is what you could say. Like, you know, more cultured in terms of art, more sophisticated or highbrow. <laughs> No, I'm joking. It really, it really wasn't about that. It was me figuring out what I like in terms of art, in terms of music, in terms of experiences. Like, you know, do I like to go to comedy shows? Not that I went to one, but that would be a fun thing to do. Um, do I like to go to comedy shows? Do I like to go to festivals? Do I like street art? Do I like, you know, like that type of vibe? Like, even when it came to books, do I like fantasy? Do I like romance? Like, you know, really finding out what does Kiki like? was a lot of 2023 and I think I have kind of found that a bit more you know I found a couple of artists I'll put them on the screen the ones that I really fell in love with in 2023 I found some musicians that I really like like 
smaller musicians. I went to independent festival. I was about to say festivals, it was just one. <laughs> we went to independent festival. I think just spending a bit more time in different areas. Um, we also say here that we have a little person running. <laughs> a person running while we're checking their watch. I tried to run in 2023 and I do love running and I still really want to get into it. But I have just not had the means to really invest in any running shoes. And to be honest, that's literally what's holding me back. I tried to run and I didn't wear running shoes and I was like, I could really hurt myself here. So I'd rather wait until i am like got the right kind of equipment to be doing that. Hopefully that's something that I can maybe get into eventually. But that was a very specific goal and I knew that when I put it into my board. And as you can see, being specific just doesn't work. So we're gonna do less of that. And last but not least is what I can see is this kind of girl, she's DJing um, and it's kind of like one of the focus points. I wanted to get into new artists. I definitely wanted to get into some like DJs, stuff like that. And we did that. I went to go see Joe K. I went to, what else did I do? Again, I went to an independent festival with DJs and stuff like that. You know, trying to listen to new music, new people, just get out of my comfort zone a bit. So I feel like I did that as well. So yeah, that is what happened in 2023. But before you go, hold on. It's time to make our new vision board for 2024. We're gonna see now with the laptop what 2024 is going to bring us or what I kind of want it to bring us. Um, you know, set a couple new intentions and stuff. So. Whilst we get into that, I do want to talk about, I kind of set a word for the year this year, and the word for the year is vitality. I like an overarching, an overarching intention for the whole of 2024. And for that, for me, that is a vitality, which, you know, is about being alive, feeling alive. I feel like in 2023, like I said, I didn't really do much. And I felt very, I felt like I wasn't just, I felt like I just wasn't living life, you know, like, I just felt very sheltered and there's seasons for that but I am hoping hoping that 2024 brings me up some new fresh energy I really need it I've been in this hermit phase for way too long now and at this point it's becoming incredibly boring and uncomfortable so the word for the year is definitely going to be vitality I will put up the actual meaning on the screen, but it's basically just meaning to be alive. And that's what I want to feel. I want to feel like I'm alive, you know? Like, the way you feel when you travel, you have that mental realization of like, this is life. This is the life, like, I'm actually living this life right now. I want more moments like that. So hopefully that we can achieve that in 2024. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and create this vision board now and then let you know what is on it what kind of things are on it let me know down below what kind of things you're adding to your vision board as well and have you created yours for 2024 yet it's okay if you haven't it's okay if you're waiting till april to feel that new fresh april springtime energy or it's okay if you just that just doesn't work for you either you know like that's fine too one thing i do do i like to um i have a manifestation mood board on pinterest and then i like to make one for each year make a little section for each year so 2024 and as i'm kind of thinking about things that i want to add or intentions i want to set for the new year i start adding like images and stuff it's just easier for me to kind of go there rather than start searching also it's nice because you can kind of look back on like each year and get a vibe of what you type of things you were interested in doing you know but yeah if you want to know more about how i'm using notion to kind of track these goals and stuff i'm gonna put it in my next vlog so stay tuned subscribe and all that kind of stuff so that you can see how i'm personally doing it and maybe get some ideas for the way you want to track things as well okay let's get in to creating this vision board for 2024 and I'm also going to give you a little idea of the kind of goals and intentions that I'm setting for the year. So the first one is to feel stronger in my body. Remember, even though I kind of have a idea of how I would like to achieve these goals, I am leaving them very open, very non-specific in order to leave room for, I guess, possibility and different outcomes. Another thing I really want to focus on 
this year is elevating my style and in particular feeling confident to express myself through my fashion also i really want to start doing things more outside of my home like i said i've been a bit of a homebody for the past couple of years and it's really want to get back into my hobby era i used to do so many things like after school and stuff like that and i really want to get back into having different hobbies and particularly those that introduce me to new people another thing i really want to do is focus on my cycle syncing and basically finding a way to balance my hormones is the main thing my i've always had issues with my hormones and just how it affects my skin now as well so i really want to find a way to really start balancing my hormones but in a natural way so i really want to try and do it through diet and other natural ways i also want to document more moments via scrapbooking um either that's on video photo or even through words so like journaling or blogging or writing or whatever it is but i really just want to document more of my life um even if it's not for public consumption or anything like that you can even see my vision board is very scrapbooky looking and it's been a style that i've really enjoyed over the last year or so and I just kind of want to keep that going. I want to do a bit more scrapbooking, take more time out of my day to just be more creative, but not like online creative, be more creative with my hands or through painting and just other mediums that I used to really enjoy when I was a child. Um, on more of the spiritual side, I really want to connect more deeply with my ancestors. Like I said last year, I really wanted to focus on fiction books, but this year I want to do more, read more educational books. So whether that is, it's not necessarily self-help books, because not gonna lie, I don't really find much joy in those per se, but you know, I haven't really delved too much into them, so we don't know. But educational books could be history, it could be spirituality, it could be, I don't know, it could be anything really, but I wanna be growing my knowledge more through. So here is the vision board that I created for 2024. This is what it's looking like. It feels very summery to be honest. So I don't know how we're gonna work this out in the cold, cold winter, but I'm sure we'll get things done and we'll be surprised what happens in 2024. Five, gosh, years are going by. Time is flying. I'm gonna be 26, guys. By the time we're reacting to this, I'm probably gonna be almost 27. That's okay, that's okay. Life is beautiful. Anyway, so this is the vibe of the 2024 vision board. She's very... I feel like summery, beachy, very outside, and that's what I need. Again, let me know what type of things you're putting on your 2024 vision board, if you made one, and also what type of things manifested for you in 2023. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Happy experience.